Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends, it is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to our virtual celebration. Let me begin by remembering the families, friends and colleagues who have lost loved ones or suffered the severe effects of the coronavirus pandemic. Our thoughts are with you. Today is a celebration it is also a reminder of the privileges and responsibilities that come with an imperial education. It reminds us that we can each contribute to helping one another and benefiting society. It reminds us that we are truly a global community. Graduates, congratulations. We are joining together from all over the world to celebrate your accomplishments, to applaud your many talents, and to wish you well in all that awaits you. You have worked hard at your studies and you have excelled despite very world, different world circumstances than you expected. You have also excelled outside the lecture halls and laboratories as inventors, entrepreneurs, musicians, dancers, actors, singers, and athletes. Your volunteering to help others has been more important than ever. Let's recognize those whose support was essential during your time at Imperial. Your families and friends are always there when you need them. They share in your triumphs and we celebrate with them. Our academics who will join you in your departmental celebration are dedicated researchers and educators, the best in their fields. They and many others have shared their knowledge they have challenged and inspired you. They deserve our thanks. Graduates, the world needs people with your intelligence, your passion, your commitment to using your knowledge to find new ways forward through the challenges we face. You are ready for what's ahead. You may have had the chance, as I did with my son David, 
to ride the longest roller coaster in Europe called the Ultimate. It's a mile and a half ride in Yorkshire that lasts for about seven minutes. That's a long ride for a roller coaster. It looks benign, a graceful wooden coaster set amid a beautiful landscape of wooded countryside. The ride begins quite innocently with a lift hill, long smooth hills and bunny hops. Then there is a second lift hill and a turn to the left toward the woods. Soon, warning signs appear. Hang on. I was already gripping the safety bar for dear life. Chaos follows. Rapid turns jolt you left or right. You want to close your eyes, but you must watch to see which direction you will be thrown. You brace yourself for what's to come. This is what 2020 has been like. A benign beginning, followed by the many twists and turns created by the pandemic. The speed with which it grew in March was shocking. With little warning, you needed to pack up, change plans, and finish your studies remotely. And you did. You adapted. You persevered. You were resilient. You passed a test that you didn't foresee. You demonstrated qualities that will serve you well in your professional and personal lives. The world changed for us all. We work and communicate differently. We have tempered our plans. We know that we must do more with less. Our staff have made transformative changes to the ways we collaborate and teach. Our multi-mode provision combines the best of remote learning with valuable in-person time in laboratories, studios, and practical training. The pandemic has accelerated these changes, causing us to think hard about two important questions. How do we best use our valuable time together in person? And what can we accomplish by connecting from a distance? These questions have been acute during the crisis and will persist long into the future. We will need to continue to weigh options that can reduce travel, save time, and maximize our connections. As our time together in person is limited, we cherish it even more. I hope that among the many things you will remember about Imperial, you will look back on the valuable experiences you had working with, listening to, learning from, and spending time with others. Whether it was students in your course, or friends from societies, or residences, or staff you came to know, sharing ideas and building lasting relationships are valuable lifelong assets. The Imperial College community will always be a part of who you are. As you think back to the people you met, the things you learned, and the experiences you had, remember what all this meant to you as you departed last spring. Here are three thoughts to leave you with. First, use your Imperial education, the knowledge, the experiences, and the friendships you made here to navigate whatever the future brings. Second, stay in touch. You will be inspired by the ways our staff, students, and alumni are working to mitigate the impacts of COVID-19, pollution, the cyber revolution, poverty, chronic disease, and more. And thirdly, maintain connections with your friends, professors, lecturers, readers, tutors, wardens, technicians, and mentors. Their collective experience is a resource for making decisions and opening doors. We may be in for another loop or two on the ultimate. You are ready to deal with the jolts. You will continue to navigate the challenges ahead with the tenacity and courage that is a hallmark of Imperial alumni. Imperial is an institution focused on scientific experimentation to discover, test, learn, and adapt. 
and I'm greatly impressed that all of our students have tackled the global experiment created by the pandemic with resilience, resolve and compassion. As we celebrate your achievements, it is also an opportunity to say thank you to those whose help has been instrumental in your success. You can share your messages of thanks to your friends and colleagues who have supported you by using the live chat box on the online graduation webpage. Together, we would like to thank your teachers, tutors and support staff for their work and ingenuity in adapting your education to the present and for their guidance and inspiration during your studies. Thank you to your families and friends that have been your backup teams throughout your time here. And thank you, our students, for the commitment and hard work you have shown over your time at Imperial in a particularly trying final year. You have contributed to Imperial's vibrant community of thinkers and doers and added to all aspects of Imperial life. Through this most unprecedented period, you have worked incredibly hard to achieve your degree in adverse circumstances. You should be very proud of your achievements. Well done. I'm Abhijay, the President of Imperial College Union, and it's a privilege to be able to address you all today. Although the circumstances aren't ideal, I hope you enjoy today's celebration and that we get a chance to see you in person again once the external circumstances have improved. First and foremost, we're here today to celebrate the academic achievements of this community. All of you should be extremely proud to have reached this point. Imperial graduates are among the brightest and best, if I do say so myself. Friends and family watching might also want to pat themselves on the back. It's so often their support that keeps us going through challenging degrees. We're also here to celebrate your achievements outside the classroom. Studying at Imperial grants us access to some great opportunities, which thousands take advantage of each year. On one side, there are the cutting edge research opportunities and academic societies which support the education of other students, as well as those in the wider community. On the other, there are student societies spanning sport, art, music, drama, culture, faith, recreation, and discussion, run by and for students, to which so many of you have dedicated yourselves over your time at the college. As I'm sure you will attest, these activities are extremely important. They keep us rounded and give us the real world skills that complement the knowledge we attain through study. Now is a good time to reflect on all the aspects of university life that you've experienced and the vitality you've brought to our community in your time at Imperial. It's worth taking a moment to celebrate the diversity of this community. Imperial is a tremendously diverse place, not only in terms of age, culture and creed, but much more importantly in terms of thought. While everyone who makes it here is extremely intelligent, their individual ideas can vary significantly. This is instructive, both because it teaches us that the colour of your skin or your place of birth don't necessarily correlate with similarities in thinking, and also because of the productive tension that this diversity of thought engenders to the benefit of science and society as a whole in the long run. Speaking of science, and at a risk of delving into cliché, though we now stand on the shoulders of giants, in the future it will be our shoulders on which others stand. This is worth bearing in mind. What sort of foundations do we want to lay for those who follow us? How can we address important issues and ensure the work we do stands to benefit the world as a whole going forward? It really is in our hands. Thank you for your contributions to our community, and I wish you the very best of luck in your future endeavours. I would like to offer my warm congratulations and thanks to you for the hard work and determination you have shown in reaching this significant moment. The past year has put many challenges in your way, on top, of, on top of the not inconsiderable matters of coursework, examinations, dissertations, theses and vivas. The commitment and integrity you have demonstrated through these taxing months makes your achievements all the more commendable. And there have been so many of your achievements to celebrate. From the Centre for Languages, Culture and Communication, we saw fantastic initiatives being led by our MSc Science Communication and Science Media Production students, and also those same master's students' exemplary determination in accomplishing their summer practical projects. From the Centre for Higher Education Research and Scholarship, our students have produced some equally remarkable work, particularly impressive given that many were simultaneously at the forefront of our clinical and educational responses to COVID. The Masters of University Learning and Teaching is always a challenge, as extremely busy staff fit their part-time studies around busy personal and professional lives. 
Also, for most, they are venturing from the comfort of their expertise in science, engineering and medical disciplines to return to being a student, exploring a social science for the first time. The whole cohort have been hugely impressive, rising to this challenge and producing some remarkable work. Of particular note were Peter Fitch, who was awarded the PG Cert Prize for an outstanding portfolio that linked to critical engagement with education literature with practice and demonstrated a clear commitment to innovative teaching and learning. Emma Passmore, who gained a diploma prize for an excellent contextually focused library project that thought thoughtfully considered liminality and authenticity in geological fieldwork. Ravi Parekh, who won both a diploma prize for his library project and the EMED prize for his excellent dissertation, A Bit of a Doctor Factory exploring medical students' sense of belonging through longitudinal integrated clerkships at Imperial College London, a valuable piece of educational research that has already had meaningful implications for practice. Congratulations to you all. And I'm sure you would join me in acknowledging the support of your teachers, advisors, administrative and operations staff. This has been a team effort, and I am so proud of the way our centres, staff and you have come together to tackle our collective challenges head on. This moment helps us celebrate you and to mark the next steps you will take. Before you take those first steps, pause a second to recognise what you have achieved and know that you walk into the world as part of the Imperial community. Welcome to the celebration of your successful graduation from the MED University Learning and Teaching. As scientists, engineers and medics, crossing over to work at master's level in a social science is a real challenge, especially when fitting in part-time study around busy personal and professional lives. The work you have done in the MED has been hugely impressive. I'm proud of all your efforts and amazed by all you have achieved. I hope the MED provides a path to further scholarship in education, and I look forward to future discussions and collaboration. Huge, huge congratulations. Really, really well done. Enjoy this celebration. Centre for Higher Education, Research and Scholarship. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Education. Louise Blakemore Catherine Carpani Nicholas Sinosi Gabriella de Silva Xavier Beryl de Souza Janet de Will Winner of a Rhys Rawlings Prize, Peter Fitch. Emma Metters. Carolyn Miller. Mabel Nakabura. Winner of a Diploma Library Project Prize and an MED Dissertation Prize. Ravi Parekh. Winner of a Routledge Education Prize, Emma Passmore. Mark Pope. Noreen Ryan. Shohag Saleh. Miriam Sabati Mark Sullivan Argita Zali That now concludes the graduates from the Centre for Higher Education, Research and Scholarship. Hi. I'm Ana Costa Pereira and as the director of the Centre for Languages, Culture and Communication, 
It is my great pleasure and privilege to congratulate you on your graduation in 2020. We celebrate your accomplishments and we recognize your many skills, which this year more than ever have been put to the test by the COVID epidemic. Now, this is not the way we would have chosen to celebrate with you your success. And it pains us, us as much as yourselves not to be together. But please believe you me when I say that this does not in any way diminish what you've accomplished. You should be so proud of yourselves. We certainly are. And you know what? If there is one thing this epidemic has shown us is that the world needs you. Good communication has never been in higher demand. The world needs reliable, trustworthy, engaging and accessible information. So fly high and be happy. And whatever you do, please do keep in touch so that we can continue to celebrate your successes together. From the bottom of my heart, myself and my colleagues all wish you the very best of luck in your future endeavors. Bye-bye. Pablo José Barenguiren Manero. Juanita Buangan. Ether Bennett. Rebecca Bloomfield. Katrina Brain. Claudia Cannon. Diana Cano Bordanjandi. Naomi Clemens Broad. Bernardetta Dadonaita. Eugenia Dekterayeva. Andrew Daniel Dixon. Liam Bob Julian Duan. Danielle Ellenby. Hannah Gormley. Catherine Greenville. Hilary Francis Guide Sam Adad Arun Hadley Hifa Margaret Hardesty Noel Heaney Jason Hoskin Tanya Hughes Takuma Kato Annabelle King Skylar Knight Antea Lakia Harry Lampert Julia Langer Harrison Lewis Elizabeth Mahays Lily Matson Anthony McGarry Emily Metcalf Valentin Manevo Sarah Mooring Jason Murigesu Rachel Nugu Celeste Nigels Takahiro Ono Marcella Olavo Light Madeline Openshaw Jacqueline Opoku Darkwa Katie Pallister Ruby Belsler Pickup Nor Pierby Juan Ignacio Rubio Gorachetequi K 
Katie Smith, Sadie Straker, Sadie Sweetland, Gemma Alice Pearl, Titor Rich. Louise van der Linden Tristan Varela Pimchanok Veli Luck Jaluang Sophie Ward I'm thrilled to be joining you today to celebrate your graduation and the onward journey of this wonderful academic institution. This is actually my first Imperial graduation as I joined as Chair of Council in January this year. I've always been impressed, however, by Imperial. I've long admired your way of working across disciplines, of embracing opportunities within academia, but also with industry. The chance to work with so many outstanding thinkers and innovators is what brought me here. And what a year to start. This isn't the 2020 any of us planned, and perhaps nobody knows this more than you. But here we are, learning, enduring, changing, succeeding, together. I take great inspiration and comfort from what you, our graduating students, have achieved in getting here and I'm so excited to hear about what you'll do next. I imagine you'll be feeling apprehension at your next steps. We're living in a different world, it's true. The future is a challenging and changing one, but it's one full of opportunities, both well-established ones ready for you to step into, but also completely new ones for you to venture out to. In getting to this point, you've proven yourselves robust, talented, motivated individuals who are poised to grasp these opportunities. Now, throughout my career, I've become aware of a defining feature of success. I believe it comes to those who have a burning desire to make things happen, the determination to achieve, and the interpersonal skills to bring people together. And from what I've seen with my own eyes at Imperial and the achievements I've heard today, I know you have those qualities and that you will go on to make great and positive changes in the world. But please know this is not goodbye. Far from it. Instead, it's welcome. Welcome to the next chapter of your lives, but also welcome to the worldwide network of Imperial alumni of whom you are now a vital part. We'll be here for you as you go on to exciting careers, following you, supporting you, celebrating you every step of the way. So please do stay in touch. You're now members of the Imperial family and we can't wait to see what you do.